Hello, welcome to Meditating the Word. My name is Cherie. I'm your host and fellow traveler on this journey through the Bible in a year. Whether you've been reading the Bible for years, or if this is your first time to read it from Genesis to Revelation, I'm so glad to have you with us. We are in the ninth month of our journey, and we still have a lot of people to meet and places to visit. So let's jump into today's passage. This is day 247. Today we are reading Ezekiel chapters 25 through 27. I'm reading from the World English Bible. Let's get started. The Book of Ezekiel chapters 25 through 27. The Lord's word came to me saying, Son of man, Set your face toward the children of Ammon, and prophesy against them. Tell the children of Ammon, Hear the word of the Lord. The Lord says, Because you said, Aha! against my sanctuary when it was profaned, and against the land of Israel when it was made desolate, and against the house of Judah when they went into captivity. Therefore, behold, I will deliver you to the children of the east for a possession. They will set their encampments in you and make their dwellings in you. They will eat your fruit and they will drink your milk. I will make Rabah a stable for camels and the children of Ammon a resting place for flocks. Then you will know that I am the Lord. For the Lord says, because you have clapped your hands, stamped with the feet, and rejoiced in all the contempt of your soul against the land of Israel. Therefore, behold, I have stretched out my hand on you, and will deliver you for a plunder to the nations. I will cut you off from the peoples, and I will cause you to perish out of the countries. I will destroy you. Then you will know that I am the Lord." The Lord says, Because Moab and Seir say, Behold, the house of Judah is like all the nations. Therefore, behold, I will open the side of Moab from the cities, from his cities which are on its frontiers, the glory of the country, Beth Jeshamoth, Baal Meon, and Kiriathaim, to the children of the east, to go against the children of Ammon, and I will give them for a possession, that the children of Ammon may not be remembered among the nations. I will execute judgments on Moab, then they will know that I am the Lord. The Lord says, Because Edom has dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and is greatly offended and taken revenge on them, therefore the Lord says, I will stretch out my hand on Edom, and will cut off man and animal from it, and I will make it desolate from Taman. They will fall by the sword, even to Dedan. I will lay my vengeance on Edom by the hand of my people Israel. They will do in Edom according to my anger and according to my wrath. Then they will know my vengeance, says the Lord. The Lord says, Because the Philistines have taken revenge and have taken vengeance with contempt of soul to destroy with perpetual hostility, therefore, the Lord says, Behold, I will stretch out my hand on the Philistines, and I will cut off the Carathites and destroy the remnant of the sea coast. I will execute great vengeance on them with wrathful rebukes. Then they will know that I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance on them. In the eleventh year, in the first month, the Lord's word came to me, saying, Son of man, because Tyre has said against Jerusalem, Aha, she is broken. She who was the gateway of the peoples has been returned to me. I will be replenished now that she is laid waste. Therefore, the Lord says, Behold, I am against you, Tyre, and will cause many nations to come up against you, as the sea causes its waves to come up. 
They will destroy the walls of Tyre and break down her towers. I will also scrape her dust from her and make her a bare rock. She will be a place for the spreading of nets in the middle of the sea. For I have spoken it, says the Lord. She will become plunder for the nations. Her daughters who are in the field will be slain with the sword. Then they will know that I am the Lord. For the Lord says, Behold, I will bring on Tyre Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, king of kings, from the north, with horses, with chariots, with horsemen, and an army of many people. He will kill your daughters in the field with a sword. He will make forts against you, cast up a mound against you, and raise up the buckler against you. He will set his battering engines against your walls, and with his axes he will break down your towers. By reason of the abundance of his horses, their dust will cover you. Your walls will shake at the noise of the horsemen, of the wagons, and of the chariots, when he enters into your gates, as men enter into a city which is broken open. He will tread down all your streets with the hoofs of his horses. He will kill your people with a sword. The pillars of your strength will go down to the ground. They will make a plunder of your riches and make a prey of your merchandise. They will break down your walls and destroy your pleasant houses. They will lay your stones, your timber, and your dust in the middle of the waters. I will cause the noise of your songs to cease. The sound of your harps won't be heard any more. I will make you a bare rock. You will be a place for the spreading of nets. You will be built no more, for I, the Lord, have spoken, says the Lord. The Lord says to Tyre, Won't the island shake at the sound of your fall, when the wounded groan, when the slaughter is made within you? Then all the princes of the sea will come down from their thrones and lay aside their robes and strip off their embroidered garments. They will clothe themselves with trembling. They will sit on the ground and will tremble every moment and be astonished at you. They will take up a lamentation over you and tell you how you are destroyed, who were inhabited by seafaring men, the renowned city who is strong in the sea, she and her inhabitants, who caused their terror to be on all who lived there. Now the islands will tremble in the day of your fall. Yes, the islands that are in the sea will be dismayed at your departure. For the Lord says, When I make you a desolate city, like the cities that are not inhabited, when I bring up the deep on you and the great waters cover you, then I will bring you down with those who descend into the pit to the people of old time and will make you dwell in the lower parts of the earth, in the places that are desolate of old, with those who go down to the pit, that you be not inhabited, and I will set glory in the land of the living. I will make you a terror and you will no more have any being. Though you are sought for, yet you will never be found again, says the Lord. The Lord's word came to me, saying, You son of man, take up a lamentation over Tyre, and tell Tyre, You who dwell at the entry of the sea, who are a merchant of the peoples to many islands, the Lord says, You, Tyre, have said, I am perfect in beauty. Your borders are in the heart of the seas. Your builders have perfected your beauty. They have made all your planks of cypress trees from Sainir. They have taken a cedar from Lebanon to make a mast for you. They have made your oars of the oaks of Bashan. They have made your benches of ivory inlaid in cypress wood from the islands of Katim. Your sail was of fine linen with embroidered work from Egypt, that it might be to you for a banner. Blue and purple from the islands of Elisha was your awning. The inhabitants of Sidon and Arvad were your rowers. 
your wise men, Tyre, were in you. They were your pilots, the old men of Gebal, and its wise men were your repairers of ships' seams in you. All the ships of the sea with their mariners were in you to deal in your merchandise. Persia, Lud, and Put were in your army, your men of war. They hung the shield and helmet in you. They showed your beauty. The men of Arvad with your army were on your walls all around, and valiant men were in your towers. They hung their shields on your walls all around. They have perfected your beauty. Tarshish was your merchant by reason of the multitude of all kinds of riches. They traded for your wares with silver, iron, tin, and lead. Javan, Tubal, and Meshach were your traders. They traded the persons of men and vessels of bronze for your merchandise. They of the house of Togarma traded for your wares with horses, war horses, and mules. The men of Dedan traded with you. Many islands were the market of your hand. They brought you horns of ivory and ebony in exchange. Syria was your merchant by reason of the multitude of your handiworks. They traded for your wares with emeralds, purple, embroidered work, fine linen, coral, and rubies. Judah and the land of Israel were your traders. They traded wheat of Maneath, confections, honey, oil, and balm for your merchandise. Damascus was your merchant for the multitude of your handiworks, by reason of the multitude of all kinds of riches, with the wine of Helban and white wool. Vedan and Javan traded with yarn for your wares. Wrought iron, cassia, and calamus were among your merchandise. Dedan was your merchant in precious saddle blankets for riding. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar were your favorite dealers in lambs, rams, and goats. In these they were your merchants. The traders of Sheba and Raama were your traders. They traded for your wares with the best of all spices, all precious stones, and gold. Haran, Kane, Eden, and the traders of Sheba, Ashur, and Kilmad were your traders. These were your traders in choice wares, in wrappings of blue and embroidered work, and in cedar chests of rich clothing bound with cords among your merchandise. The ships of Tarshish were your caravans for your merchandise. You were replenished and made very glorious in the heart of the seas. Your rowers have brought you into great waters. The east wind has broken you in the heart of the seas. Your riches, your wares, your merchandise, your mariners, your pilots, your repairers of ship seams, the dealers in your merchandise, and all your men of war who are with you, with all your company which is among you, will fall into the heart of the seas in the day of your ruin." At the sound of the cry of your pilots, the pasture lands will shake. All who handle the oars, the mariners, and all the pilots of the sea will come down from their ships. They will stand on the land and will cause their voice to be heard over you and will cry bitterly. They will cast up dust on their heads and will wallow in the ashes. They will make themselves bald for you and clothe themselves with sackcloth. They will weep for you in the bitterness of soul with bitter mourning. In their wailing, they will take up a lamentation for you and lament over you, saying, Who is there like Tyre, like her who is brought to silence in the middle of the sea? When your wares came from the seas, you filled many peoples. You enriched the kings of the earth with the multitude of your riches and of your merchandise. In the time that you were broken by the seas, in the depths of the waters, your merchandise and all your company fell within you. 
All the inhabitants of the islands are astonished at you, and their kings are horribly afraid. They are troubled in their face. The merchants among the peoples hiss at you. You have come to a terrible end, and you will be no more. Father God, such a lesson in not relying on our own strength, our own riches, or even in the help of other people. You and you alone can save us. You can cast down the mighty in a moment. Nations come and go, but you remain forever. You are our source. You are our provider. You are our redeemer. We trust in you alone. Amen. Well, there we have it. Another chapter in our journey through the Bible. It isn't always easy to understand, but remember, it isn't a race, and each word we read is a seed planted in our hearts. Thank you for being part of this journey. Join us tomorrow and every day as we continue our journey through the pages of the Bible. This is Cherie signing off for the day. Remember, you are in my prayers. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.